No visit to Anguilla is complete without taking a trip to the charming, historic and authentic fishing village of Sandy Ground. Sandy Ground is home to a wide selection of beach bars, restaurants and night spots to suit all budgets so you can eat, drink and lime like a local all day and most of the night. Roy's Bayside Grill, family owned and operated in Anguilla for 40 years, serving breakfast, lunch and dinner Tuesday through Sunday on the beach. Look out for their famous happy hour and delicious daily specials. Sandy Grounds Road Bay is also the home of Anguilla Boat Race, the jumping off point for trips to offshore keys and other aquatic adventures. Sandy Island is a beautiful islet in the middle of the ocean where experiences last a lifetime. A warm welcome, fresh seafood and delicious drinks await. Catch the sea shuttle from the small pier at Sandy Ground Beach for the cost of $40 per person round trip. Vinci on the Beach is a beachside restaurant and bar located in the center of Sandy Ground. Chef Vinci's mouth-watering menu features the freshest local fish and seafood and Caribbean favorites. Enjoy one of Pat's delicious frozen drinks. Open for lunch and dinner. Visitors to this versatile village Enjoy browsing art galleries, salt picking activities, bird watching, beach walks, and of course, shopping. Visit the Anguilla Garden Centre for a wide range of indoor and outdoor tropical plants, as well as garden decor, tools, organic chemicals, and much more. Highly qualified horticulturist Jeremy Brown and landscape designer Matthew Brown offer in-home consultations to help you achieve the garden of your dreams. Nestled on the shores of picturesque Sandy Ground Beach, Waves and Grilla will transport you away to a world of unparalleled culinary delights and tantalizing drinks. Life's a beach. Enjoy the waves. Sandba is an elegantly casual beachfront restaurant serving small plates, crafted cocktails and good vibes. Sweeping views over the boats that anchor in Road Bay make Sandbar a wonderful place to watch the sunset. Dinner goes down even better when paired with the soothing sounds of some of Anguilla's best musicians. Check the music schedule to find out who's playing when you decide to visit. Show off your pool skills. Kick off your night with a friendly game of 8-ball, dominoes, or fool's ball. Food and drinks available to help you refuel in between games.
Yeah. Properties in Paradise is the epitome of a luxury, fully serviced property management, rentals and real estate company here in Anguilla. We try to combine the service and amenities that you are used to from prestigious hotels in the privacy and comfort of an upscale personal residence. What makes Properties in Paradise exceptional is our team. They don't like me saying that, but we are lucky enough to have the best of the best. Dedicated professionals who will go above and beyond for our clients. Exclusive to us right now is one that we're sitting in, Angel Point Villa. Um, completely renovated property, six bedrooms, um, very spacious. As you can see behind me, lovely, expansive outdoor space. We have another one, Alkira Villa, which is a five bedroom property, fully serviced, fully staffed, um, with beautiful views over Shoal Bay. Morgan Hill is on Long Bay Beach. It's a new development that we've just started. There will be four luxury villas, two beachfront, six bedrooms, and two ocean view, four bedrooms, with all the bells and whistles. My name is Fiona Curtis and I work with Council Limited. I have done for 15 years and Council Limited provides corporate services. Council began as an accounting firm and actually moved to become corporate services because they're so intimately connected. What we also do is we provide administrative support. If you need help getting business licenses, knowing what taxes you need to pay, the upcoming GST, anything you need, we help you. If somebody wants to set up a business in Anguilla, please just contact us, make an appointment, come in and see me, and we can just talk about what you would like to get done. When I need to spend time alone, reset and recharge, these three beaches provide the solitude, escapism and tranquility that I need. We are here at Sandy Hill Bay. I remember lots of picnics and looking for welts on the rocks with my family growing up. Now, I like to come here when I need some time alone. It is quiet and the view is mesmerizing. I enjoy walking along the sand, which is speckled with small red stones and bits of coral. Sometimes I sit on a bench or a smooth rock and meditate and reflect. Other times I relaxed and soak in the warm water. This bay is calm, shallow and tranquil, and I always feel safe when I am alone and deeply immersed in my thoughts. It truly rejuvenates my mind, body and soul. Welcome to Rendezvous Bay. This beach is popular for both locals and visitors, but the width and length of this beach provide opportunities and space for escapism. I can always find a stretch of beach to swim, walk, or sit undisturbed. The view of St. Martin's Mountains and the magnificent sunsets are just two of the reasons why I love this beach. There are a few great beach bars here, and sometimes I grab a drink and wander off to sit alone for an hour or two with my trusted notebook. Some of my best ideas and moments of clarity have occurred while walking or lounging on this gorgeous two-mile stretch of beach. This is Katouche Bay, one of my favorite places to relax and recharge. It will never make a list of must-visit beaches in Anguilla, which make it the perfect escape. Katouche Rainforest and Iguana Key are close by. This small beach is secluded, great for walking and exploring the forest, the big rocks, and little sandy coves. There are no beach chairs and umbrellas, but the sand or jutting rocks are the best place to take a seat and watch the waves roll in or the boats sail slowly by. Here, my dreams and thoughts flow freely in a truly relaxed, 
uninterrupted state. There is always something to see and discover here. I always leave inspired. I'm Shalicia, a writer and content creator. For more on life on Anvilla, visit my website at My Angola Experience and hang out with me on Instagram at My Angola Experience. What makes Aurora Anguilla unique is there are so many aspects to this property. This wonderful property is over 300 acres, 178 rooms. We have the only international playing golf course on the island, just rated number three in the whole Caribbean. We have an additional nine holes, makes it 27 holes. We have the only authentic Japanese restaurant on the island, the only authentic steakhouse on the island. We have two beaches, we have great people, and it's a wonderful property to stay at. We have six amazing restaurants and there was a lot of detail and intention that was put into every single one. We have the only hydroponic farm on this island. So our product from farm to table is fresh, it's luscious, it's green, it's beautiful. The product that we use, be it the fish, is all locally caught, it's fresh. Our beef, we know it comes from the best farms in the, in the United States. The golfing experience at Aurora is amazing. We have a world-class 18-hole golf course. We have a short course, nine holes, which is also amazing, it's brand new. We have a teaching facility, which is electronic, and we have the best coaches that you can find anywhere. And you want to improve your game, or you want to have a great game, you come to Aurora, we've got the best. The amphitheater at Aurora is amazing. It seats 700 people, it's completely open air, we have bands that come here from all over the world. The sound is phenomenal. We have the private hospitality suites also. The food and beverage offering. We have some bespoke food vans on the outside. There are bars. It's, it's a, an amazing experience. And it's the only one you're gonna find in Anguilla and probably in this region of the Caribbean. So it's another unique and very, very real, authentic and fun thing to do at Aurora. Well, the experience you want our guests to have when they first arrive in Anguilla is that you're at a place where everything is authentic, everything is real. Our restaurants, our food is farm to table. Our staff, our smiles are real, they are authentic. And the experience that you have here is one of love, it's one of joy, it's one of um, elevation, and it's something that you can take back with you for the rest of the year, fully recharged, and remembering us every single day of that year until you come back. Sarah Greaves Gabadon, but a lot of people know me by my brand name, which is Jet Set Sarah. And really, Jet Set Sarah is all about sharing the Caribbean and the world with other people. I am a real life, not just a blogger, but actually a travel writer. I contribute to outlets like Travel and Leisure and Condé Nast Traveler. But under my own brand, Jet Set Sarah, that's my opportunity to share the world through my eyes. So there's lots of shopping, there's lots of culture, there's lots of food, and there's lots of color. I love Anguilla because it is posh, but not pretentious. You know, I have tons of suggestions for a first time at Anguilla. And the first one would be, you gotta hit the beach. My favorite of the 33 of them is actually Mondays Bay, which is the beach at Cap Luca. You must put your toes in the sand on Mondays Bay. It is unbelievable. You feel as if you have stepped into an Instagram photo with tons of filtering, except it's hashtag beautiful, hashtag no filter. Another one of my favorite things to do, I mean, Anguilla is a beautiful island on its own, but there are some offshore islands not far away that really are worth seeing. One of my favorites is Sandy Island, which is a little oasis that you can see if you are at Sandy Ground. It's just on the horizon. I think it's about 10 minutes away by boat. The boat that brings you over, they have names like happiness and bliss. And trust me, that's exactly what you're gonna feel when you get to Sandy Island. Great crayfish, because of course you have to have and William Crayfish when you come here. Um, one of the things that I really enjoy about Anguilla is the fact that there's Wi-Fi everywhere. Whether you're at a beach bar, whether you're inside in a fancy restaurant, nine times out of 10, 
There's Wi-Fi, it's free, it's fast, it's open. So you can share your trip with everyone and hopefully make them just a little bit jealous too. Well, you know, I travel the world, but really I live on Instagram. So wherever I'm in the world, you can find me there at Jet Set Sarah. I also have a sort of OOTD and style feed called Jet Set Shops, where I show off the outfit, outfits that I'm wearing and I show off the things I bought on my travels. I also have a website, jetsetsarah.com. I'm on Twitter at Jet Set Sarah, and uh, I bet you won't guess what I am on Facebook, facebook.com slash jetsetsarah. Hi, I'm Brazil, the Traveling Island Girl. I'm a Caribbean travel content creator, travel writer, and YouTuber. Getting to Anguilla from St. Martin is a breeze. From the Princess Julian International Airport, you were picked up by a representative of one of the private boat charter companies and quickly whisked away to the docks that are literally just across from the arrival hall. When at the boat terminal, you can leave your bags at the capable hands of the porters before making your way inside, where you will check in and clear immigration before being escorted to the waiting area. Once the boat is ready to depart, you can walk over to the waiting boat and attentive staff who are ready to make your trip over to Anguilla as comfortable as possible. The boat trip starts with a cold beverage of your choice. I always go for the rum punch to get me into that vacation mood. Your boat journey from St. Martin to Anguilla is about 30 minutes of beautiful and picturesque Caribbean scenery. As you arrive and deboard the vessel, you can make your way to the new and immaculate Blowing Point Terminal building designed by an Anguillan architect. Once inside, you will breeze through immigration and customs before stepping out into Anguilla's sunshine and making your way over to your mode of transportation. I choose to rent a car with Andy's car rental. The procedure was quick and seamless and before I knew it, I was handed a car key and driving away from the terminal heading towards my resort of choice. Welcome to Anguilla. First thing I do when someone comes to me is I want to find out what their requirements are and what their dreams and their wishes are. And then you try to get as many of those as you can. But you really have to listen carefully to what they're saying because they're giving you a lot of feedback that they don't realize they're giving you. When they say they, you know, they like to see the sunset or they like the view of St. Martin. All of those are key things that you need, but you need all of those little things to add up. 
Buying real estate is not just a money investment, it's an emotional investment. When people walk into a home, they usually have an immediate reaction, positive or negative, whether, oh, this just feels right, or no, I don't like this at all. The people that come to Anguilla are very adventuresome. They are looking for something different from the way they live now. It's evolving somewhat. It typically had been people in their 60s, but now we're getting younger clients and they can be from their late 30s to their mid 50s and they realize they can work from anywhere. So they're looking for a place that they can let their children grow up and be a part of all the memories and then that they can go and still work and relax at the same time. I've actually put together an ebook on how to buy real estate on Anguilla and in that it has a step-by-step -step on everything that you have to do to buy real estate. They're a little overwhelmed by the differences in the process because it is different but it's my job to show them how simple a process it truly is and to walk through it with them. This property is called Villa Bramasol and it was built in the early 1990s and it's listed for 1.75 million and after Irma they pulled up the pool completely. They redid it in the nice darker color. They added an outside sitting area that's very comfortable. They completely redid everything and it's a very comfortable true Caribbean style house. The world won't go around unless there is insurance, right? There's banks that require it, there's people that have risk, they need insurance. So if I can give them a product that they feel comfortable with, then I feel rewarded. Irma occurred in September. We had finished paying claims out on all but two policies by the end of December. We were intent on getting people paid out, but also making sure that they got the right payout and that they were satisfied. You want to make sure that you're covered. We love Shoal Bay Villas. We come here many, many times and we really appreciate the, the warm and friendly people here and that's probably the highlight of our trip is the, the local people are always very friendly and very accommodating. Because of its close proximity to the beach, we can get up in the morning, open our patio door and the beach is right there and off we go. I'm Ricky Hodge from Shoal Bay. I also work at Shoal Bay Villas. So I basically work at home and I'm the guy they call for everything. Most of our guests is uh, repeat guests. It's guests that comes yearly. The guests most of all say that they like the staff, the scenery, the relaxation. You're directly right on the beach. So you come out of your room, you take a few steps, you're in the seawater. You know, these are a couple of things that the guests like about Shoal Bay Villas. Now we are all one family. 
we all get along so good. We work hand in hand. You know, um, there's a, a saying, there's no work unless it's teamwork. We have that down pat. Team players. Everyone's out on the beach enjoying themselves, getting their chair, getting their glasses of wine. We love walking on the beach. We spend a lot of time walking on the beach. Not only here at Shoal Bay, but we travel around the island every day and visit the different uh, beaches that are available. It's always a pleasure, you know, to uh, introduce new faces and show them the hospitality. And we do have a good staff. Our housekeeping is superb. And we do have a good teamwork. So my favorite part of the job is the job. <laughs> So I love the job. Honestly, this is like another phase of my life. Because we was dating from school, you know, from high school. So when she was planning to go off to college, me, she had a serious, serious debate. She wanted to do tourism, and I wanted to do accounts. So I said, oh, well, I guess I have to build a hotel. So I guess this is the first phase. Mm -hmm. A lot more to come. <laughs> Genesis is our daughter's name. And being the only girl, she is the princess of the family. So this is her, I'd say, little castle. The true guest experience, I wanted to start right at the gate. And when they reach inside, I want them to feel like they're actually at home. It's the home away from home concept. That's what we want the truly experience of Chateau Genesis to be like. If someone said to me that there's not a lot of shopping in Anguilla, I would say you're not looking hard enough because it's really not hard to find at all. There are great boutiques in Anguilla, both independent boutiques and hotel boutiques. So for example, at Franchipani, I like their Petals boutique. At the new Aurora Anguilla, there's a boutique there that I love. At the Four Seasons, I love their boutique. My number one tip, if you want to shop in a hotel boutique here, we know that they're not inexpensive. So what you do is you time your trip for August when the shops are about to close for the season and everyone's trying to get rid of their inventory. And then you just come in and like a little shopping vacuum, you just suck it all up. The three things that I often tell my guests is um, drive on the left, have fun, and don't run over my goats. Everyone sees the goats everywhere. Where can people go and pet a goat? On the Jeremiah Highway, there is a, um, a, a special goat crossing. First thing in the morning, later in the afternoon, before sunset, is a perfect time to get that done. We're going to approach a roundabout pretty shortly. And that's one of the concerns a lot of the drivers have when they come to the island. To deal with that, concentrate on your right. Cars that are coming from your left would have to wait for you. Sing the Beyonce song, to the left, to the left. I don't know. <laughs> that works a lot. That's something I tell my people. So when I go in this roundabout, I'm going to look at the vehicles coming on my right. And then most likely there's nothing. I'm going to just take my time and go straight around. And once I'm in the roundabout, I don't have to look for nobody. Because then once you're in the roundabout, you are right all the time. When I first saw the land and knowing, you know, the central location in West End, where most people wants to be in the West End, I was, I was so excited going to look at the land and 
finally buying the land. It was, it was a big thing for me. And especially after we cleared the land and really saw this unbelievable view. Um, yeah, absolutely slam dunk. So Cocoon Villas is a small development close to Meads Bay here in Angola. Uh, it's gonna consist of six uh, villas, each around 2,500 square foot. Um, they're all gonna be solar powered, fully solar powered. Each one is gonna have its own pool and um, it's gonna be a beautiful little development. We're 90 seconds away from one of the most beautiful beaches in the world, which is Meads Bay. We're two minutes away from Four Seasons uh, Hotel and uh, we're in a good spot. I'm so lucky that I have been working with the best architects on this island for many, many years, uh, which is Carl Richards from Richards Architecture and Raoul Ventipool from V Architecture. Both of them are born and bred in Angola and lately, as a, as a power couple, they themselves have taken off and done a lot of great, great projects in Angola. I've been working in this industry since 1990. I've worked with Bonnie and Ira on several projects like Chemic and Villas. It was a lot of fun working with them and it's a pleasure now coming together again. My wife Debbie and I named our company Trophy Properties because that is what we love to sell and it's our area of expertise. To qualify as a trophy property, the real estate must be unique, priced in excess of $1 million, ideally located and be very desirable to people with resources looking for a luxury home or a very special piece of land. Anguilla is a luxury destination and has many trophy properties and we're proud to say that we have represented some of the best of them including the Santosha Estate, Long Bay Villas Sea, Sky and Sand, the incredible Rendezvous Bay Beachfront Homes Arushi and Animos, and most recently the Villa Paradise Estate and Savannah Bay Beach Development Site. We've been coming here for 35 years. We've been to other islands you know, in the Caribbean. We seem to keep coming back to Anguilla. I made the connection with Steve. Speaking for myself, it was the right decision. You know, I really appreciated his enthusiasm and uh, and how professional he was. If you are interested in ownership at the Four Seasons private residences, whether it's a studio apartment, condominium, or beach villa, I'd be delighted to show you our exclusive listings. Contact me, Steve Haynes, at Trophy Properties to make an appointment or for more information. I think Anguilla makes the perfect backdrop for wedding photos because Anguilla is in the heart of the Caribbean. I mean, most people are acquainted with the Caribbean and we are known for our gorgeous beaches and picturesque scenes. Here in Anguilla, we have many different services that are provided for weddings. We have, of course, photography, video, uh, you can have even dancers at your wedding. Um, we also have live entertainment, we have bands, we have great singers, we have hair and makeup artists, event planners, we have florists, decor, um, you name it, they can provide you with whatever you need for your wedding event. Your wedding vendor will be dedicated to the task and I can assure you they will put a smile on your face and we can't wait to have you here in Anguilla. 
K Sharp Media loves to spend time together. Um, outside of, of work, we actually hang out. We, we see ourselves as a family. So it's not just uh, show up at work and come and get the job done. We actually enjoy each other's company. So we hang out outside of work. I personally don't have one favorite place that I enjoy taking photos or, or making videos, but there are so many uh, great spots in Anguilla. I think um, I enjoy the West End at the Arch and on any one of the gorgeous beaches, uh, you definitely will have a great backdrop for your wedding event or whatever the occasion might be. You've heard it many times, but what really makes Anguilla Anguilla is the people. So you can uh, be sure that whoever you get to cover your wedding, they will make it an enjoyable and memorable experience. Hey guys, my name is Chad Kent and I'm a videographer and photographer based on the stunning island of Anguilla. Yes, now look at me. Yeah, beautiful. There's something about this place that inspires me every day. It's like being transported to a different world where every scene is a work of art waiting to be captured. There's nothing that compares to the feeling of finding a new and exciting location to shoot. Every frame is an opportunity to freeze a moment in time and make it last forever. This shoot that I did with Jasmine was really cool. Uh, so we went down to Katouche Bay, which has a lot of really interesting trees and rocks. And we stayed there until sunset. Okay, you can see Jasmine, she's having a good time. So if you would like to look for some cool locations and do a shoot, whether it's a couple shoot, family shoot, maybe you want to get out of the hotel, you don't want to shoot there and you want to head over to the beach, just get some sand between your toes, then hit me up. Let's do something really cool. But don't think that I do this alone. I have an amazing team that works with me. We're all about having fun and creating a relaxed environment when we're shooting. We also handle more serious events, like weddings. Real estate. And corporate events. My goal is to make every event look amazing capture every moment in a way that tells a story. And I pride myself in being easy to work with, making sure that every client feels comfortable and confident in my abilities. And when you work with me and my team, you're not just getting a videographer or photographer, you're getting a partner in creating something truly special. Hey, we're here in Sandy Ground, one of my favorite beaches for children in Anguilla. It's also the beach I grew up on, so it's partial to my heart. I love it because the water is calm and shallow. It's super kid friendly. There's lots of local culture down here, but my personal favorite, Roy's Bayside Grill. On a Saturday, they've got a $5 kids meal and you really can't beat that when you're going to the beach with your children in Anguilla. Scarlett loves it, I love it too. We're here on Shoal Bay East, one of my favorite beaches to take your kids to. 
I love this beach for older children because there's fantastic snorkeling. It's right off the shoreline. You just swim out to any of our reefs and you're going to see a plethora of Anguilla's aquatic life. Nestled between two cliffs, this beach is a great pick for children because it's almost never rough. My kids are also entertained by the ability to search for unique rocks and shells along the shore. It wouldn't be a Caribbean island without a quaint fishing village, and Island Harbor doesn't disappoint. My young son loves when we visit this beach because he always learns a thing or two by hanging out on the wharf with the local fishermen. The beach itself is shallow and calm, which is perfect for budding swimmers. There are several great eateries with casual menus that any child will love. Needs Bay is by far the best option for teens or older kids. There's opportunities to rent banana boats, go tubing or paddleboard, wouldn't you choose this beach for the day? Anguilla has a beach for every square mile, so chances are you may make your own list of favorites while you're here. Connect with me on Instagram at the only Vanessa to share yours.